Hi, Judy Melito with J. Melito & Associates. Our company does telephone fundraising for a number of organizations in the U.S., mostly in the Midwest. And I want to talk to you about the importance of an outbound telephone fundraising phonathon. It's so important to follow up on your libons and your cybons and some of your non-donors every year. Okay, what's a libunt? Libunt is nothing more than an acronym for they gave a gift last year but not yet this year. They are your most prized possession donors. You do not want them to lapse away year after year. It's too hard to bring them back, too expensive to bring them back. Okay, what's a cybunt? Again, the acronym stands for some years but not this year. And everybody knows what a non-donor is. Now, the importance of a phonathon and using an outbound telephone fundraising company like ours is that we can call those Libunt and those Cybunt donors, ask for their gift of support, and take you up over goal every year. Sometimes it's, it's, it's hard for your volunteers and your students and folks that have every good intention to come into your organization and make those phone calls. And it's so important that they give a gift of support every year and not lapse away. And during your phonathon, you have to make sure that you plan the calls to wrap around the direct mail solicitations that you're going to be doing. If you're going to be sending out a full-blown solicitation package with a brochure and a pledge card and a remit envelope, then we suggest that calls begin four weeks after that solicitation lands in the household. If you are just doing a little e-blast or a postcard or a website notification, then those phone calls can happen right away, even the next day after the postcard hits the mailbox. So plan your strategy, plan your phonathons, give us a call. We're happy to do the telephone fundraising for you on behalf of both your Libuns and your Cybuns and a few non-donors this year. Thanks again. Thanks for listening. Talk with you soon. Bye-bye.